coming up in this Bright Mine Construction Update. This update looks at the lead up to and first day of the Loxahatchee River bridge replacement process. The Loxahatchee River Drawbridge, also known as the Jupiter Drawbridge, is located in Jupiter, Florida. We'll start on March 20th. Work here is primarily based off of barges that can be relocated around the site as work progresses. There are currently five cranes involved with the work here. The different tools and materials being used are also stored on barges. Work up until this point had not affected train traffic, with crews working to form piers for the new bridge and remove the unused girders from the previously unused second half. There were still two of the unused spans that needed to be removed at this time. On the temporary work trestle on the north side of the river, crews were in the process of assembling the bascule segment for the new bridge. Up around the curve to the north is the staging yard for work on the bridge. A shuttle wagon car mover and flat car are used to move materials to the bridge from the yard. Here's a flight along the bridge to the south. The existing bridge was built in 1926. It was originally double tracked, but when the Florida East Coast Railway reduced to a single main line in the 1970s, the second track was removed from the bridge. And a general overview of the site. Now on April 10th, which was the first day of what will end up being an almost two month replacement process for the bascule segment. The boat channel is closed at 12.01 a.m. that morning to start an over 24 hour long shutdown of rail traffic on the bridge to remove the old bascule segment. By the time I arrived around 11 a.m., the old bascule had been stripped of its tracks and cut from the bridge and was laying on one of the barges. Crews were in the process of preparing the opening for a temporary span that would be inserted into the gap so rail service could continue to operate while work to remove the rest of the old bascule segment progressed. They will also begin installing some of the equipment for the new bascule segment. The new bascule was fully assembled by this point on the temporary work trestle. On a barge was the yellow temporary span and the old bascule segment was on another barge. A 
a smaller barge was anchored in the channel to provide workers a surface to work from in the gap. On the track next to the new bridge tender building, the shuttle wagon was parked with pieces of the old bridge on the flat car. Here's a closer look at the opening in the bridge. You can see parts of the new bascule staged on the temporary trestle in the top right corner. There were rail fans and curious local spectators on the highway bridge throughout the day watching the proceedings. Two cranes that were not being used in this operation were anchored farther out in the river to stay out of the way. As I was walking up the bridge to check out that vantage point, they began to move the temporary span into place. They were beginning to line it up here. This was a fairly lengthy process, since it was the first time it was attempted, and the additional parts that will eventually help line up the span when it is removed to allow boats through were not in place yet. The purpose of this span, beyond allowing trains to cross, is so that it will be removed twice a day to allow boats to pass through while work to prepare the new bascule takes place. For the duration of this work, a crane will remove the span every day from 9am to 10am and from 4.15pm to 5.15pm to allow boats through.
By now, crews are beginning to install the parts that will line up the bridge. They are welding pieces into place, along with cementing other pieces into place. The shuttle wagon was moving away here, with those old parts on the flat car. While the rails and tie plates were sitting on the span when they moved it into place, it had not been spiked down yet. That way they could ensure the rails lined up properly on both sides. A track crew from Gonzales and Sons were beginning to spike down the rails here. After stepping away for lunch, I was back in the air again to see what it looked like with the temporary span in place. The track crew was still at work on the span. And here's a wide view of the site. You can see Jupiter Inlet and the Atlantic Ocean in the distance. Once the new bascule is in place, work will proceed on replacing the remaining thick spans along the bridge. The end result will be an all-new double-track bridge here. Work replacing the bascule should wrap up the week before Memorial Day weekend, so the bridge should be open for regular boating activities for the holiday weekend.
Thanks for watching. Be sure to the like button and subscribe. Also check out my social media pages.